We've always thought that the Bible had spiritual meaning, not uh, uh, to, to literal meaning. What about that? Well, nothing about that at all. Now, you learn about spiritual experiences by the letter of the Word. For example, it tells you that you're a sinner. It tells you that Jesus Christ died to forgive you of your sins and died for your sins. Forgive you. It tells you that if you will confess your sins, you'll receive the new birth. You've made a new creature in Christ. And you receive the spirit of adoption in your life, whereby you cry, Abba, Father. You see, you couldn't get that information for us for just plain old black and white English letters. You get the idea? So if you'll quit this trying to make the Bible a spooky book, and quit trying to get these deep hidden meanings between the lines, and if you're talking about spiritual things, get the idea and go get those spiritual things the way it tells you to get them if you want them. If you don't want them, okay. Just forget about the spiritual thing. But you get the knowledge of God, of Christ, of spirit beings, of spiritual experiences, and all these things by the letter of the Word. So don't despise the letter.